Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am back to work on our Easter little pocket doodad here. I haven't done anything else on it. I know that was a few days ago, but we'll see what we can get done. I found this little pocket that I made, and I never used it, so we'll use it in here because it will fit. Alright, um, I think we'll... Uh, I don't know if I want to start with that. I think I'll start with the front cover. That way, at least, if nothing else, that will get done. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's pretty nice here. Sun is shining and birds are singing, so must be good. I hope everybody around you is healthy and safe. Sounds like our numbers on this thing are a little bit better than they thought they would be, so that's always a good thing. Although I know New York and Louisiana are just getting slammed. But at least if the cases aren't growing quite as fast as they were, that should help a little bit. And these are just those same papers again that I can't seem to find where I got <laughs> them. Eh, you know, brain. I've had them for years though, so I think that's part of the reason I can't find them again. Even if I found her shop, I don't know if she would have them. And now I name all my folders better, but I didn't when I first started. I didn't really think about having to tell people where I got paper from. <laughs> they just went into my download folder. Not a whole lot going on here. It's pretty quiet, which is a good thing. I don't want any craziness. Just been working. I've got a new um, journal that I'll be making. It's a kind of a French theme. And so that's what'll be coming up after today. So that'll be kind of fun. That'll be different. I don't I haven't done a whole lot of that, so let's see. I kind of want a big piece on the front, so that's what, you know, the cover. I can find my stuff here. I thought about this doily, possibly. And a bunny. This doily is from um, Roxy Creations by Sarah. Something like that would be kind of cute. Yeah, I was thinking about what we were doing last year, you know, for Easter and stuff. And I decorated bags and, you know, gave everybody in my family little gifts in those bags that were all decorated on the front. I'm like, what was I doing this year? Like, I feel like I got nothing accomplished and it's even later than last year. I don't know. I don't even have any of my spring Easter decoration stuff out. <laughs> so crazy. I just got totally behind, or I don't know what, but anyway, I mean, I have been working on journals mostly, I think that's probably part of it that's different, but it's just funny when you think back and you're like, oh yeah, I did all that stuff. <laughs> Why didn't I do that this year? <laughs> 
well, part of the thing is I can't, you know, really go out and get anything to put in the bags, but, you know, hey. At least they would have had a bag, right? I think I've been more uh, having more fun just like making digis and stuff because I keep coming up with cool ideas and like Beth sent me those awesome um, cabinet cards and I really wanted to do a digi with those and so I think that's what I've gotten wrapped up in instead of the specific holidays. These, this uh, bunny is Rachel at Roxy Creations. Um, her Easter, one of her Easter packages, the fussy cut ones. Okay, and I'll probably put lace or something. Oh, I was thinking I could use a piece of Eva's uh, snipper trim thingy. <laughs> I don't know what you call these things. Uh, I'm good, right? because it's just pretty with all the different stuff. That piece right there might be kind of cool. I know this is crazy. I'm just going to cut it, but that's what you do with it. I don't want to cut that piece. Hmm. It's tacked down on there. Probably should have thought of that first, huh? I think it's cute over there. That'll work. Because this side will have the flap coming over a little, so. That's cute. That finishes it off really well. With that nice pink color. Avocado dyed, it looks like. Well, this ribbon is for sure, but the fabric on the other side, too. The lace, some of the lace. Very cute. All right, so now we need a piece for our flap. That piece is definitely not long enough. This is more of a blue version than the other one. I just want to use this paper up because, like I said, I'm trying to use up some stuff that I have already printed since my printer's still whacked. And I tried to get a hold of Epson, or, um, is it Epson? I don't know. Anyway. And they still haven't gotten back to me, so I don't know if I'm ever going to get that thing fixed. So, yeah. Oops. I mean, I can get it to print a few pages good, and then I usually have to clean it or something. It's just a pain. <clears throat> and you guys have given me great ideas. I just can't get a hold of that stinking company. I'll try to contact them again today. It'll print really well on things, it seems like, where it wouldn't really matter maybe if there was a line. Like, you probably wouldn't notice it a whole lot, but then <laughs> it always puts a line, like, right through a face or something like that that you're trying to print. But, yeah. Trying to get that little pointy edge off. I have this one string that just wants to hang on to my finger. <clears throat> so that can go 
one there. Yes, my daughter's still coughing. I don't think she's ever going to get over that cough. I've had those kind of coughs that lasted for three months before, so I feel her pain on that. I mean, she's not coughing horribly, it's just that every once in a while thing. side but it's not all right and I don't know yet I probably will I don't know probably wrap something around it for a closure okay so then let's go back here do this one this blue one's pretty Let's take this edge off first. So yeah, I've seen quite a few people have done these and like posted them on Instagram or, you know, sent me a picture or whatever. That's been awesome to see all the different, because I'm the only one that did the Easter one. Everybody else has done like something else. Oh no, there was one other Easter one. That's right. But you can do lots of fun stuff in all different sizes because the whole envelope thing, it's whatever size envelope you've got. So that's fun. You could do the skinny ones with the um, office envelopes, you know. That would be fun. <clears throat> Try to line this up a little bit straight. So yeah, I love seeing that. And a lot of people are um, doing the 60 minute color challenge too and posting pictures on Instagram, which is fun. Because I know not everybody has a YouTube channel and you don't need to. Obviously anybody can do it, <laughs> even if you're not taking pictures of it. But that's fun to see what other people make. I did it too short again. I always do that because I don't measure. <laughs> that's okay. It just gives us an opportunity to add another type of paper. <laughs> uh, when you're Dini. Oh, I was going to print out more of Gail's trim and I forgot to do that. Darn. So I wanted to put you know, a little bit more on that, on this side, so that it would go together. And we used it all up, well, mostly. Not that you guys can't figure out how to finish this, but I just didn't want to leave it undone. husband's on conference calls and stuff today so he's home so if you hear a man talking that's what it is <laughs> it's, like it's the only way I can get any of my calls done because it's too crazy at work so this would work this little pink polka dots Is really cute paper. I wish I could figure out who in the world I got it from. I'll have to try again and see if I can't figure it out. I just I looked and looked the other day and I don't know where in the world I got it, but 
I even went through all my um, purchases on Etsy and I still can't find it, so I don't know. That's really weird because like everything else that I can think of is on there. Maybe I went on as a guest or something when I first um, started ordering because this was one of the first things I ever ordered from Etsy. That's a possibility. I want to put on here maybe a little um, image of something these are so funny these little chicks making the phone call maybe I'll put that there We have a, um, somebody coming to fix our dishwasher too because of course that had to start leaking the other day. So surprisingly, I got somebody to come do it. So if my phone rings, I'll have to put you guys on hold for a minute. See, this is, I wanted to use this one because I was afraid that this would end up getting ripped off and it's almost ripped off right now. <coughs> hey kids, you might want to go eat breakfast before the guy comes to fish, fix the dishwasher because then he'll be in the kitchen. You know they give you that time span though between 10 and 2 so he probably won't get here till 2 but if they don't eat then he'll be here at 10 so because that's the way that works all right and this one we can put our pocket somewhere so get something to put on there I don't know. That's always the tricky part is finding it because they're all prints. So, any ones that go together. That's a little better. surprisingly. Oh, this one will probably work though. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, let me get a tear it again. Yeah, if any of you know who this paper is by, it's like country something, I don't know, <laughs> country shabby chic or something like that, I don't know, but, um, yeah. Let's see, let's uh, little past this one. Looks like I did crooked still, even using the... guide.
cute, cute, cute. But, so thanks for all your great comments yesterday, you guys, on the, those cabinet card frames. <clears throat> Everybody seemed to like those. They were fun. I need to think of something to do with that, the album part of that. I'm thinking that the, um, like a femoral folder thing would be neat. I want to do a journal with that kit, but it probably won't be until after this next one I'm doing. I went and got um, Joff's Baroque Beauties to do this next journal because, like I said, it's a French theme, and so she's got those beautiful... Uh, ladies with the powdered wigs and stuff. Her pages are for a traveler's notebook and I'm doing something a different size so I pretty much just got the ephemera, the volume one and two um, add-on. There's some papers in there but so that is going to be fun and different. That was the first kit that came to my mind when I I got that order. So I'm excited to do that. And I got Gail's uh, French ephemera, one of those kits of hers that has like the letters and stuff in it because they look so cool. Need something else too that's just not enough. Love that little stand, man. It's great. Great idea. Whoever came up with that. What do I do with the rest of that ephemera? It does fit on there. kind of cute. We might not get to the um, journaling cards, but we'll see. What are we at? Oh, we're only at 22. That's not bad. I have one daffodil out in my yard that has been coming up. Well, I mean, they're already up. They don't come up every day, but I mean, um, it's been up and opened every day for like almost two whole weeks, which is amazing to me because sometimes they tire out before that you know it's kind of cool and it's just one very pretty I love daffodils I wish that stuff would um, keep flowers like all through summer and stuff because they're just so pretty my favorite I love bulbs hyacinths and tulips and all of it I would just love to have them all summer out there, but I know they don't like that heat. This is Rachel Roxy Creations Bunny too. Just using these too because I've got them printed up and ready to go. Oops, I just slopped glue everywhere. I probably could have used the glue stick on this, but I was afraid I would rip these little pieces off. fingers stuck to the glue page. I wonder what was on the other end of that ribbon that he's holding. <laughs> it's kind of funny. would wipe off but it almost dried already so it doesn't want to wipe off. I don't know what to do about that daffodil hanging off because I really don't want to cut it so I think I'm just going to leave it and hope it doesn't get like ripped off or something. And I'm going to put glue all over the back of this. You could just do like three sides or whatever and then have it as another pocket but I don't want to make this too 
too thick because then it won't, you know, close up nicely. So that'll go there. I'll just kind of glue that down and maybe it'll stay down. <laughs> All right. Next page. Blue. These are the same flowers that are on this one, just in blue instead of green. It'd be nice to have more of a yellow or something. I don't think I have any yellow. That's as close as I got. And it's cream. I if any of these, this is antique papery. Just a bunny. Just a bunny. See, this is the problem. I put them in folders and then they get all dinged up. Oh, this is kind of cool right here. It looks eastery. And just grab a Pasha. His ear's looking better today. I put a little medicine on it and it looks better and he's not itching it. So I think we're good. Hopefully, knock on wood, that it'll. I could almost use that purple. Now he came and sat by me because you're picking on him. <laughs> yeah, I think that bunny would be fun to put there. Even though it's different than these other bunnies. We're just going to do it. I'm going to take off a little bit of its back right there because I know the whole thing's not going to fit. So. And we also have the little thumb punch for our card. I just put this old card I found. It's just one side. Um, I used to make those when I was selling Stampin' Up! Um, to show different things that you could do with stamps. And then people could flip through them and look at them when you had a build a party or whatever. I don't know. That was uh, a long time ago. So... But I have found that one and I was like, oh, that would work because it's, I'm going to chop that little bunny. Maybe I'll take just a tiny bit more off that back part. to the boy. She loves him. Pasha does not. <laughs> He's always trying to hug on Pasha. Pasha is not um, super lovey. I mean, he will come to me all purry and stuff, but I'm pretty much the only one. I think it's... He just likes the person that feeds him. Other than that, he could just be done with everybody else, it seems like. He's bratty like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, smart, but bratty nonetheless. Maybe I do want to come all the way down. Get on this side so I can see. That might be too long. Jeez, Amy. That 
will be cute on there. So that's antique papery. I do know that. on that white part just because I don't like how white it is but um somebody was asking me these are just this is just a wet and wild um, makeup brush that I got at the dollar store that I use to kind of add a little ink really lightly on like this part because um, I don't like it when I use this and I'm trying to go light and I like do that and then I end up with a circle so um, I actually saw Tracy Fox is the one that did this. I've had a couple of questions about this brush, so. And then when I, right after I dab it, I do it really light just to kind of get rid of some of the excess ink, and then I'll push down harder and ink it all over. But it just that way you just don't get those weird like edges, you know, that you either get with the square or the circle ink dauber. So that's that's why that is a thing. Faster. Oh, what am I doing? That's the corner rounder, Amy. Maybe I'll get this edge down at least so my glue doesn't totally dry up here. Uh, do the corner rounder before you glue it. <laughs> Good advice, right? Best laid plans and all of that. I'm going to have to mark, I think, because I cannot see what I'm doing. And of course, I can't really see on this either. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. And then I just kind of ripped it, and it's stuck. Instead of a how to, it's how not to, right? <laughs> Always have to forget those corner notch things or, you know, thumb notch. I remember them after the fact. At least I remembered it a little before I glued it down. Wouldn't have if it wouldn't have had it there in the first place, but there we go. And then let's work on the journaling card that's going to go in this pocket. See it's getting fatter now so it doesn't want to close very good. And I just cut it down to size and rounded the corners. It just slips in and out of the pocket easier that way. I'm going to kind of collage so I don't know if there's bad words. I haven't read it so I apologize if there are. This is music paper that I um, ordered from Denise last spring. She had spring packs of like Kool-Aid dyed papers that were really cool. And I just have a few little pieces left, so go ahead and use those. That's what I used to make my bags and stuff last year. <laughs> just apologize to everybody in my family. I am not with it at all. Crazy. Put that on there. 
like a completely different green on this side. I mean, look at that. That's kind of cool, too. It's so light. I mean, that happens when you coffee and tea dye, too. Uh, scoot up a little bit. Doesn't want to. Okay, let me see if I can find some more things. Pasha. Up on the table, he wants to lick plastic. I think I'll use that bag, but I need to find something else to put on here. This would be cute. Cute, cute. That's the antique papery. I like it because it's got the little forget me nots too. It's cute. I mean, I'll probably have to get rid of some of this, but. Everybody crazy if you do that. Here's Pasha. <laughs> oh, somebody gets my plastic on my desk. Oh my gosh. He's such a pest. Pest. Now he's flopping his tail on my leg because he's irritated with me. This side I'm going to just rip because I don't want to lose a whole bunch of the flowers and I want to irregular up against that music. Oh my goodness. Helps if you do it without glue on your fingers. He's licking plastic so you take him with you. She's been working so hard on trying to get scholarships. That's one good thing about this is that she's had a little bit of time to do that because when she was, you know, going to school all day and then doing homework too, now it's more like she just does her homework and then she's got a little more time to um, do that because they're doing online stuff and they don't really have like technical classes necessarily unless there's something that the teachers need to talk to them about. They just assign them things to read and work to do and stuff like that. So, and it doesn't really start until the 13th, but she's had quite a bit of homework. Ducky can go there, or duck, a uh, chick. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Maybe I need to go to school. Nope, I don't want to go back. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so I don't want to add a whole lot of bulk because it was already hard to get that in and out of that pocket it's a little bit tight so I don't know I kind of feel like it needs a little something but I'm not sure what um, hmm just seeing if I had anything on my desk I could use oh I know these little they'll probably get caught up though on stuff I want to use those somewhere though those are cute Oh, let's get him down anyway. I think if I add lace or anything, it's just going to get all caught up in the pocket. So it's 
put something on the back. It's just some ledger that I didn't end up using in uh, my niece's book. And I put tape on it, so. <laughs> We can use that. I kind of want to keep that number if possible. So what I'm going to do is round this. I don't round that one yet because I don't know. rough up the edge there because I don't want to tear that number off. Oh, good job. <laughs> and you know I would have, oh this side's not roughly either, is it? husband has to like <laughs> make calls from home because it's just too crazy you can't get anything done at work which you know it's understandable there's a lot of questions and calls and just stuff you wouldn't normally have still get the calls but There's not people just popping in his door every few minutes. That's if he can even get into his office. Because unfortunately there's still stuff that has to get done. I just messed that up because I didn't change my glue page. You know, whether there's this all this going on or not. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I'm just putting this on here. And then I'm going to e-ground it. So he's on his way out. So I'm probably going to have to have this be the last little thing I do. But we're just about done. We just have, I'll just stitch around this. I'll probably add a piece of fabric up at the top. And then that goes in there, maybe. See, that's what I was saying, this is kind of tight, so I don't want to add uh, too much bulk to it. And it went all the way down in there last night. It's really a tight pocket for some reason. Well, I guess it's going to stick out a little bit. Because I don't really want to tear any off of it. But that's not a bad thing once it's got its fabric on it, but there we go. We finished it, except I have one little journaling card to do right here, but that's easy. And you could add, you know, more pockets, more little writing places, because, like, I could add a little spot to write there. But, um, yeah, those are super cute and fun. Thank you, Melody. That was a fun little thing to make with everybody. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Please be healthy and safe and, you know, take care of your family and enjoy your kids and all those good things. And we'll chat again soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.